Hi everybody, good morning. First off, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back and tuning in. And also want to wish everybody a very happy Memorial Day. This goes out to the ones that gave their lives to help keep us safe and living. Truly can't thank you enough. Thank you, USA. Okie dokie. Off to a start this morning. It's early. I hear getting my grind on. Ah, uh, thank you, Black Rival. Honda grinding. Here we go. Over here. First off, we got the Triumph. Need to get these tires off of here. Got her up on the lift. Going to get it popped up. Going to get everything checked out. Going to get the chain lube. Get the back tire off. Get the front tire off. Get them up to Jerry's. New tires are in. Get those swapped out so we'll be able to get the Triumph off the lift. Because <laughs> we got some work. Of course, over here, Mr. Chiro. And, of course, always forget me. Click the light on. More lighting, please. Okie dokie. Mr. Chiro. Schwappy, schwappy. That's next. And over here. As you guys know, or probably saw, we got some new ones. <laughs> I've been out here grinding, putting my work in. Of course, I've only had them for hours at this point, but let's just see. This is the 78K model with the dual front disc with the awesome pro star wheels i love the old pro star mags <laughs> they're just about as cool as it gets as you see there it is the 1978 f model <laughs> awesome yep and slip out over here get my fat butt around the chair there check it out guys let's just see here turn on my box got my jump pack from harbor freight Click that on. Oh, yep. Ignition's on. Let's give it a little choke. <laughs> it is first thing this morning. It's cold. Listen to that, guys. <laughs> 1978 at its finest. Oil pressure's off, or oil lights off, so we got oil pressure. Tag works. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So good. Turn this off here. Actually, let me. There we go. Turn that off. Turn the pack off here. Can't leave the pack on too long because it's actually charging my pack through here. <laughs> That's not good. You know, it's okay for a little bit, but you don't want to leave it running too long on the with it charging. Guys, it works. It works so good. And I love that it's just all here. It's not all good, but it's all here. Like this part back here, most of these get ripped off because guys want to cafe and chop these bikes. These things have a glove box under the seat in the back. How many bikes have a glove box that's hidden? The seat covers that. Let me show you here. Pop this off. Set this over here. The seat I have up here right now. It's a beautiful old seat. It's not my, truly my favorite. One sec here. There we go. Set it up here so you guys can see. There we go. It's not my favorite. But it is a a period correct cavalcade. These old cavalcade seats are about really as comfy as they get. It cups your butt. It feels like somebody's just holding your butt cheeks. Your lady's got a beautiful little spot back here. Mm, 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 mm. I we may just end up running the cavalcade because I'm old and I got a big butt and it wants to be comfy. And especially when I'm zinging down the road with this thing at about, oh, you know, eight or nine grand. Yeah, see, that one goes up. Uh, yeah, it gets up there, guys. <laughs> and, of course, it's only got 21,000 miles. Yep. She barely broke in. And, of course, 
just a, a short tune i'm about to change the oil that's what the old oil it's in there it's good the oil actually looked okay and i'll show you up here the oil tank is right there so you almost want to run them a little bit just to get the oil from the engine back up to the oil tank it'll cycle it all back up here and you drain it down here on the bottom let me slip back here and i'll show you that's the oil drain right there so you want to run the engine a little bit get the oil circulating and warmed up and get it back up here to the tank so you can drain it right here there is a drain on the engine but if you run it you can get it all back up here and just drain it and be done and then swap out your filter down here and you're good to go so that's what i'm doing and i kind of in a lot of ways i haven't done it in years this one's almost too nice, but I'm just gonna because I can. And why not? I'm a road kill this one. It's good to go. The tires are holding air. The it needs a little bit of brake work, but I think I'm gonna try and just rebuild all the stock stuff and just get it back on the road here in about a couple hours. It's time to ride, guys. <laughs> At least around a block. I've never ridden one of these. I've worked on a couple, got to, you know, kind of, you know, mess around in the parking lot, you know, just testing them. I want to give this one a workout. It's going to be fun. <laughs> a bunch of fun, I'm guessing. We'll see. So, the cavalcade may stay. Those are all just extra parts there. The tank, let me show you the tank. Where did I even put it? Oh, it's back here. That's right. Because, uh. That one doesn't fit the best. That's my pretty one. It, it's a beautiful Honda tank, but it doesn't fit. I'm not sure what model it's for, but it doesn't fit, and the tab doesn't line up back here where it should. This one does because it came on the bike, but let me show you. Yep. You get in the sun over here so you can see. That side's not too bad. The paint is not good. A little bit of rust on the bottom over here bottom looks okay petcock is horribly rusty <laughs> this side yeah, uh, yeah we got rust oh looks like somebody tried to body work it it's been welded on uh yeah and you see i'm just rolling it around because i don't really care about this tank it's it's junk and let me see if I can get this off. <laughs> it's crusty junk, guys. When you roll it around, you can hear it. <laughs> There's so much rust and junk inside that tank. I think it's going to get written off. Luckily, I have another one. It's actually at a friend's house right now. I built a bike for her a while ago, and she had an extra one, and she gave it to me, and I just haven't been over there to pick it up yet I, it might be the right tank I'm not sure I can't really remember we're gonna go see I think it, it, might, it might even be black or blue I can't remember <laughs> we'll see but guys the other one that was sitting right here that was one that Tad and I kind of thought about, like, man, mm, eh, eh, eh. we came to get this, the you know, the true F model. Didn't really realize what that one was totally. It's an F model Super Sport also. It's a pre-production, talking to some buddies. Nobody I know has ever even seen a yellow pre-production 76 F model. Or even a yellow one in general. We're thinking that bike was made here in the States, actually. It was sold. The original dealership was in Florida. <laughs> it was made here in the States, and we're still waiting to find out exactly where with the VIN code, because it, it tells us that. It was made in 75, early 75 usually after seven or eight of 1975 it would be titles of 76 that one's from five so january february march april may it's from may of 1975 but it's titled as a 76 because it was a pre-production model that was supposed to be sent to a dealership 
for display. That's a display model of the first F model, guys. <laughs> so, we're going to roadkill this one. That one's getting turned up. It's going to be... We came, it just kind of came to me. This here's Dagwood. And that's his blondie. Can you believe it, guys? We now have Dagwood and Blondie. The Hot Rod F models. <laughs> and a Turbo Pro mod that's about the baddest CB8 whatever on the planet. <laughs> yes. Okie dokie. Over here. We had to come out to sunshine because... Oh my goodness, guys. Oh. Oh. Uh, actually, let me just... I should have it over here so we can really get some sunshine on it. Oh. One sec. See if I can keep my fat butt out of the sunshine. Guys. Holy. Holy cow. Just wow. And if you can already see there on the back. I started to turn to dub. Honda grinding. I've been working. Pretty much since it's been here. I, I can't not almost. I need to be in here getting Tad's bike done. But look the tires just showed up so. It's coming up next, <laughs> but over here, and if you see, I don't, I don't think anybody's ever seen a Honda that looks like that, at least on the tail, doesn't stick out at all. This is what you call a Job's Frenched In stock tail light housing with the plate mount all tucked in looking about as tight and right as blondie could really ever could show you guys here I custom make all this this still comes up a little piece of fender will go in here I'm just waiting to get that it'll come down here and tie into here plate goes here I trim all that so it Frenches the tail light, slides it back in. When you close it, it just closes right over it. No big deal. Sitting down here on the lock. Yep. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I still got it open. <laughs> Need to retract my deal there. I'm still waiting on keys, so that's still kind of boogered open. But as you see, I'm slamming it shut. It doesn't hit the tail light. The tail light's floating inside there. It's still hooked to the frame, so the suspension still works. Everything's all good. That's how you do that, guys. I like to make CBs really look as good as they can because they're amazing bikes. I just I love everything about them, and I've never had a yellow one. We do now. <laughs> I'm just I'm beside myself. Not to mention, I came out here this morning, and I feel like. Mr. Soichiro gave me a big old pat on the back. He's out here hanging out with his people. I mean, like, I... The, the, I never realized... Uh, I, 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 this, I've, ne I've never realized this. I've had shops of my own full of bikes. It's never been like this. I've been at dealerships full of bikes. I've felt it. It's been there before. This morning... Phew, Need me a drink of coffee. <laughs> it is still morning. Yeah. Things are good. Things are real good. He's so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. And I am too. Because 200 horsepower is coming very soon. Hey. <laughs> so. Just some of the small details out here. Didn't have the rear caliper. Still waiting on that. I thought it was in the box of parts, but it's not. But I did get this beautiful 4 into one that I think is actually a Kirker setup. 
and it's it's going to shine up and be beautiful. Has the removable baffle. We can let this thing sing with no baffle. I can't wait. Going to get rebuild kits for the master cylinders for the top and bottom. So front and rear will get rebuilt. Everything looks good up here, but this is a fixed beam. I'm going to swap out the bulb with a newer H4 assembly so we can put an H4 bulb in there so it'll be brighter and still work with the 12 volt and everything will be good. And, and just last longer because the fixed beam, if this goes bad on the road, you're done. you got to change the whole deal because the bulb doesn't come out. This whole, it's a fixed beam bulb. This whole bulb gets changed. They don't make them anymore. That was made by Stanley back in the day. And, or that's, this one's actually a Wagner. Yeah, Stanley and Wagner made them and they don't make them anymore. So you got to swap out the whole deal with the H4, H4 assembly. But you can see the front fender shined up. I gave it a little shine. Oh, this thing's going to shine up and just be smoking hot. And like I say, now we have, <laughs> can't really see them in there. Blondie and Dagwood. I, this is going to be an amazing time, guys. When we get both these done, I think we're going to have to have a race of everybody. We might do a, th a three wide with the turbo bike, Blondie, and Dagwood. <laughs> Sweet Jiro, Dagwood, and Blondie all lined up ripping. Who knows where, who knows how, but I feel like that just needs to happen. I don't know if anybody's ever done that, but I can. They're all here. And I just want to get everything to this point just to get everybody rolling. You know, get everybody moving and rolling so I can roll stuff around. I think the Blondie may go down the street to a buddy's garage just for a little bit till I get parts in so we can really, basically overnight I'll be able to get that bike done. It shouldn't be a big deal. This one, I think, I have most of the parts to make Dagwood run, so we'll see. I just need to figure out this gas tank, get some fuel to these carbs. We're good to go. And, of course, Chiro, he good. We might swap the engine just so we can have first gear. Then it's going to be bonkers, so, yeah, it's, he wins. Thanks for watching, guys. It's time to go really fast on a beautiful Honda that was not made recently. This is back when Soichiro was really running the company and he was on the floor looking at every part that went on these bikes. These parts may have been installed by Mr. Soichiro Honda himself. Oh guys way more to come really fast <laughs> let's go thanks for watching yeah. if you've ever been lost out yonder out where the black top ends on a back road can i get a hell yeah. hell yeah if you've ever been buzzed on a drop tailgate with the glue of a bonfire burning can i get a name man If you've ever howled at the moon under the stars, skinny dipping in a water hole, can I get an all right? All right, all right. And if you have, then lift your glass, raise them up, and show some love to a better life. Let's all do a shot if you took your whiskey, throw it down a nice cold beer the size of Texas. Thank you all out there for keeping it country.